we came out bright and early and uh, we brought Sergeant Peacock out to the blind and uh, got everything set up and watched, you know, we watched nature come alive. Well, this morning it started off great. We heard we had goblin everywhere. We were surrounded. <laughs> Once they pitched down, they just got quiet on us. I hate it when the birds are quiet. You don't know where they're going to pop out. I was stationed in Fort Campbell, Kentucky. I did two tours in Iraq and uh, come back. There's three weeks shy of doing a third tour over there. We were doing a load up for, uh, we were loading the vehicles up to go to Iraq again. We were that close and uh, I was on my way to the railhead and got hit by a car <laughs> and uh, woke up three weeks later missing my left leg from the hip down. Fort Campbell's Warrior Transition Battalion has a program called HUA, which stands for Healing Outside of a Hospital. And it's to get wounded soldiers an outdoor activity to get them uh, over their wounds or their illness or whatever's ailing them. Uh, the outdoors is a wonderful place to experience some physical, mental, and spiritual healing. Um, it's, it's a wonderful way to get people to realize that their life's not over because they suffer from an injury. They can still do whatever they want. It may hurt a little bit, it may take a little longer, and it may need a little help, but nothing can stop them if they set their mind to it. It's a uh, sense of accomplishment. You know, I can still get out and do this stuff with my injuries, so somebody that's got a lesser degree of injury hopefully can see me and be like, hey, this guy's doing it, I can get out and do it, you know? You know, I'm not messed up as bad as he is, so maybe that'll get some, a few more people involved in the outdoors that think, I shouldn't be out there. You get mental rehabilitation because like I have a bad leg. My friend Adam is missing a leg. When we're out there, I'm not gonna complain about my leg hurting when he's doing everything he can and having a good time. So you kind of develop a mental toughness. Then there's the spiritual healing. Uh, when you're out in the outdoors, when the sun's coming up, uh, you're at peace with your maker. Uh, you have some time to reflect upon yourself, the world, uh, pray to your Lord and uh, it, it's really a, a good motivator there. I'm a guide this year. Uh, I was actually, I hunted last year as a wounded warrior and uh, I retired, I, I retired from the service in June medically as Sergeant Peac Peacock did. And this was the best thing for me to get back, to be with the guys and to be able to still help. And it's something I hold near and dear to my heart. We seen coyote first. We seen one bearded hen, and she come in probably about 15 yards from the blind, and we just wanted to pass on her. We're waiting for that big boss Tom. So, and seen another hen working the top of the ridge, but you know, just no long beards yet. The excuse that we're here is to hunt, but the reason is totally different. If we go out there and we spend time in the woods and we don't even see a bird, same effect. Uh, getting a bird or getting a deer or catching a fish is just icing on the cake. Gives us some bragging rights and it kind of solidifies the whole experience, but it really doesn't matter if that happens or not. The point of being here is the fellowship, the spiritualism, the making friends and getting that physical workout where your mind is somewhere else other than dreading where you're at. It's, it's very uh, beneficial to everyone involved. The public gets something out of it. They get a way to give back. It's the most blessed thing anybody will ever be able to do, and that's uh, uh, take a wounded warrior hunting or a veteran hunting, because that's giving time for me. Look what, look what they've given. 
they have given the ultimate, some of them. The soldier gets an opportunity to meet the people and know that what they did was uh, a sacrifice worth, worth making. I've never served in the armed forces, but I've had uh, family members I have, and I think uh, people that, uh, that haven't actually served themselves, their lives have been affected because they have family members or friends that have, and uh, uh, we're free today because of it. And I think uh, everybody that I've ever taken on a trip has said that they would go through their injuries or their activities to accomplish what they accomplished. They, they don't let about, nobody has any regrets about what happened to them. And uh, I think that's admirable. And the HUA program puts that relationship with the community to, that we can understand each other a little bit more. And that soldier knows that the sacrifice they made is appreciated in some way.